Okay, fam, it is Labor Day. We're having some fun outside. Max is going for a little bike ride. And we actually thought, we're getting kind of hungry. It's almost lunchtime. Let's do some epic recipes. So we're gonna be bringing you guys two kid-friendly classics, plus there's a bonus included as well. So we've got homemade waffles, homemade mac and cheese, and we're gonna make a homemade plant milk to go with. holiday weekend we're gonna have a brunch and we're gonna start with plant-based waffles like we said earlier these are all gonna be family friendly kid friendly especially if you've got a picky toddler which max is kind of going through that phase right now these are gonna be great upgrades from typical boxed foods packaged foods classics you grew up with that mom would come home with from the grocery store like Eggo waffles and your Kraft mac and cheese and a carton of milk. So we're gonna make these veganized. They're gonna be plant-based, so super healthy. If you are trying to lose weight, they're gonna be ideal. And most importantly, they are family-friendly. They taste absolutely delicious, and you can make these in minutes. So we're gonna start our day off right with some vegan waffles. So here are the ingredients for the waffles. You're gonna need one cup of rolled oats, one tablespoon of chia seeds, one teaspoon of vanilla bean powder, or you can use a little splash of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of maple syrup, pinch of pink Himalayan salt, and Max has got the golden ingredient, a ripe banana. Last but not least, you'll need a half cup of our homemade oat milk, which we are going to be sharing the recipe for you as well. Milk obviously goes perfect with both waffles and homemade mac and cheese, so that's why we thought we might as well show you how to make that too. We've got everything in our mini blender. Now we're gonna blend. So our mini waffle iron is heated. I'm gonna put each waffle on for probably about one minute and it should make five to six waffles total. Can I have an Eskimo kiss? <laughs> Woo! Looks tasty. <laughs> If you're making these for a crowd, I'm already on the hunt for a waffle press that has multiple spots on it because I need to be able to make at least four at once. about both plant-based upgrades and homemade plant milks, something else that we've found that has been an invaluable upgrade is Else Nutrition. So it is USDA organic toddler plant-based formula. So it is designed for toddlers of one year of age and up, and it can be perfectly integrated in along with breastfeeding, which I am still doing at almost 21 months. It's soy-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, all the good stuff. I would highly recommend checking them out. It has a great nutrient profile. It is packed full of everything that your toddler will need to thrive. So all you do is put a few scoops in with a cup of warm water and either blend it or shake it and it is ready to go. So a lot of times I will serve this with Max's breakfast. So with his waffles, I'll probably give him a shaker of this and he absolutely loves it. And again, it just helps to boost those extra calories and maybe fill in any nutritional gaps, especially for picky toddlers. We do feed him a really nutrient dense diet, of course, but from time to time, he's super picky. So if we can at least get this in, then we're golden. So if you guys are interested in trying out Else Toddler Plant-Based Formula, you can use Erin25. I will put the link below in the description and that will get you 25% off. So now we're gonna get to the juicy stuff. We're gonna make some plant-based mac and cheese. It literally takes minutes. It's super effortless, especially if you are having a meal prep day. You can always boil your veggies ahead of time and it makes it much easier to blend your cheese sauce and boil your pasta. So here's the ingredients for the mac and cheese. You're gonna need a cup of chopped carrots, one large golden chopped potato, 
three cloves of garlic, a couple of boxes of pasta, so about 16 ounces of plant-based pasta. We've been absolutely loving chickpea pasta and lentil pasta lately, so we try to go gluten-free as much as possible. And you're also going to need a half cup of nutritional yeast. This is our favorite brand, it's Sari Foods. We find it on Amazon. I'm only telling you this because it is the only non-fortified nutritional yeast that is free of MSG that we've been able to find. You're gonna need some salt to taste, two to four tablespoons of lemon juice, so that equates to a half to a whole lemon, depending on how tangy and zesty you want it. We're gonna need a half teaspoon of turmeric powder that helps with the coloring, and it's extremely anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory. Half cup of soaked cashews for that healthy fat, and a half cup of water. Also, another side note, if you are kind of more on the weight loss side of things, feel free to omit the cashews, but it will add a whole new dimension of creaminess and flavor. So I highly recommend at least trying a little bit of cashews as well. Now we are just transferring our veggies to a boiling pot of water. We're gonna let them boil and get cooked, and then we're gonna blend our cheese sauce. Meanwhile, we are going to boil our pasta. While the veggies and noodles are boiling, we're gonna add the rest of the sauce ingredients into our blender. We're gonna add in those boiled veggies. Nutritional yeast is where all of the cheesy goodness comes from. It's high in B vitamins. It's also super high in protein. We sprinkle it on salads, soups, stews. childhood and every child's childhood. Could this work as nacho cheese? Oh, it could so work as nacho cheese. Solid gold. Come try it. Let. Where's your belly button? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I think that mac and cheese did me some good. I feel good. And finally, the cherry on top. These meals go great with some plant milk. So our favorite taste-wise is oat milk. You guys know that if you've watched some of our videos. So we are going to blend up some homemade oat milk. All you're gonna need is four cups of water, one cup of rolled oats, and then a little crack of pink Himalayan salt. And if you wanna sweeten it, you can use either soaked pitted dates, which we just ran fresh out of. So we're gonna use a little splash of maple syrup. You'll also want a nut milk bag to strain it, and you might wanna double strain it just to get any excess pulp out. Alternatively, you can also use a t-shirt, which will strain even better. So you probably won't have to double strain. Yeah. Oats, can you say oats? Oh. <laughs> oh, Max! You've been, you've been running through my mind And I've been thinking that it's just about time We get together, get together wow. So come on Come on Alright, so we've got an old sock here We're just gonna run our... <laughs> Alright, so now we are just gonna run our oat milk through our nut milk bag into a large bowl, squeezing and straining as much as possible. What Dusty does in the morning. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. Woo! Oh. Oh man. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hold tight. Hold on to it. Hold tight. I made it all soggy. Glass. Pour us some oat milk to go with our mac and cheese. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Don't trip over the Bible. Trust okay. me. Give me trips, that spoon. It trips a lot of people 
up. All right, you guys, it doesn't get more classic than this. And trust me, if you have picky kiddos, they will approve. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. As always, hit that subscribe button to make sure you've got that bell click to turn on notifications. So you'll get alerted whenever we put out new delicious and nutritious videos on our channel. Leave us some love in the comments below. Let us know if you are team waffles or team mac and cheese, or if you're gonna try them both. <laughs> and be sure to follow us daily on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik and at DB Stanzik. Always use the hashtag EatMoveRest so we can check out your recipes and be sure to tag us. Also, if you haven't already, check out our Patreon link below. Become one of our patrons and join in on our monthly group coaching calls. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Cheers. Oh, Max just fell asleep. I've been trying to get Max to fall asleep basically all day so we could get this video shot and he wouldn't do it. Now with just a couple minutes left, he falls asleep in my arms. I mean, I'm not complaining, but, and he stepped on a blueberry. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.